Jim Meany, owner of Cancel Air Incorporated, has invented a technology that reuses aluminum cans as core heating elements in solar panels. Well, the panels basically uh, made out of powder coated galvalume and uh, UV stabilized polycarbonate, which is the, the lens, lens area. And what happens is the sun shines through this clear lens and uh, hits the black uh, aluminum. And we, we have these 240 pop cans uh, modified in such a way as to cause the air to spin through them. And so centrifugal force comes into play and it sort of separates the relatively heavier, colder air out of the rising column of air. The air is pumped in from the house uh, into the bottom header, goes up through the, uh, the core and then back into the house again. What gave you the idea to use pop cans? Well, uh, they're aluminum. They have an excellent heat transfer capability and uh, it's virtually, virtually instant. If you were to say put one under a, a stream of hot water, you'd feel the heat just like that. And the same way is, is true with the, the heat from the sun. The cans come in from the multi-material stewardship board. Detab them like that and uh, put them in flats. Every 10 of these now is, is, a, is, a, is a panel core. We have a, a drill that cuts tops and a drill that cuts bottoms. And out here, we have the, uh, the, the, the trays, you know, of cans that are now ready to go to the soaking room. We soak them for about uh, 24 hours, which uh, prepares them for washing, and we wash them in hot soapy water, sunlight liquid, of course. Then uh, we rinse them and we rack them to dry. And uh, there's 16 tubes per, per panel core. The, the work that goes into uh, preparing them for painting is about the same thing as you'd have for preparing a car. And the, the, the paint we use is high sorb 2 salt coat select coat. It's good for 35 years exposed to the elements. Uh, in this case, it's under a UV stabilized lens. It's in out of the weather, so it should last you for several lifetimes. All you need is a, a, a wall that's either southeast, southwest, or south facing. If you got that, you're away to the races. You've got a furnace. Uh, the blower assembly is mounted about an inch above your baseboard, which is where the cold or heavier air gets sucked out. And it's uh, pulled out of your house at the rate of about 100 cubic feet a minute and returned back into a dryer vent near the, near the ceiling. Uh, about 50 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit hotter than what, what it went out. So, and it's like taking the bottom card off a deck until the top card comes down, hits the bottom, it destratifies and filters the air in your house. It's automatic, like whatever heating system you happen to have, whether it's oil, geothermal, uh, wood, electric, it automatically shuts it down by virtue of maintaining the room temperature. It'll flatline the room temperature plus or minus one degree so your, your thermostat doesn't cut in your furnace. And it's virtually maintenance free. There's no fuel, there's no maintenance, there's no insurance for maintenance or parts or anything. It's, it's just a lifetime supply of free heat so it's not eating any bread. Once you buy it, it's, it pays for itself. We can finance these things now for, well, the heat that comes out of it would probably be 15 or 20 percent less than what you're currently paying your utility, utility for it. Plus, uh, you know, with the voucher kits and that, you're actually getting paid to use it, you're getting paid to go green, and, uh, and, and by passing it on to other people, you're helping the planet to go green.